This individual created the world's most famous mobile game, which made him a billionaire, but also ruined his life and continues to haunt him over a decade later. Learn why we should meet Don Gwen, a programmer from Hanoi, Vietnam. In 2013, he started a video game company called Gears and began creating his own games. He was particularly interested in mobile games, but felt they were too complicated and cluttered, so he decided to make his own. His first mobile game, Shirk and Block, was incredibly simple. Prevent shurikens from hitting people by tapping the screen. Players had three lives and lost one when hit. Don wanted to simplify things further, leading to the creation of Flappy Bird. The game involved tapping the screen to make a bird fly and avoid large green pipes. It was the perfect mobile game, easy to pick up and play in under 30 seconds, but taking hours or days to master. Most players struggled to score higher than 10, making it ideal for short bursts of play while commuting or waiting in line. The game was also completely free, much like hitting the like button on a video. Combined with retro Nintendo-inspired graphics, Don had a hit. However, Flappy Bird initially flopped, receiving almost no downloads for the first few months. It wasn't until five months later that the first tweet about it appeared, and even that tweet was negative. But within a month of that tweet, Flappy Bird exploded in popularity. By early February, the game had over 50 million downloads and was earning Don $50,000 per day from advertisements. It first reached the number one spot at the end of January. A well-known YouTuber, PewDiePie, made a video about the game, causing another massive surge in downloads. The game's sudden success was a mystery, even to Don and others, similar to how games like Minecraft and Among Us gained popularity without significant advertising. Despite achieving every independent game developer's dream, Don was miserable. Although he loved the game, he didn't tell his parents about it even though he still lived with them. They only learned about his success from local news reports. As the game's popularity grew, so did Don's suffering. The media reported on Flappy Bird due to its popularity, but many outlets claimed it was dangerously addictive and should be avoided. Game journalists criticized it, calling it lazy and accusing Don of using stolen assets from Super Mario games. There were even rumors that he had paid for fake reviews. Although the local Vietnamese press initially reported on Flappy Bird, it was just the beginning of a challenging period for Don.